Matthew 5 verse 14 says, You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. As a child of God, when you truly carry the light of God in your heart, you would be known and distinguished even by the forces of darkness. However, because you have the light of God shining so brightly in you, you would be able to overcome and subdue every power of the enemies. So don't let anyone mock you for your faith. The ones who mock you or hate you do not know the power and the joy of the Lord you possess. And this is why they would do everything in their power to try to pull you down. There is a saying that if you can't beat them, join them. The world would find every means to want to seduce, tempt, and force you to join them. It is left for you to let them know where you stand. You are the light of the world, and the darkness of the world cannot overcome the light. John 1 verse 5 says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. You are the light that shines and overcome the darkness, which is the world. To be a follower of Jesus Christ, then you must be ready to endure the pain of the world and face persecution. Our Lord Jesus was unlawfully arrested, imprisoned, falsely accused, unjustly sentenced, shamefully humiliated, and subjected to the cruelest form of death ever devised by man. Although he had done nothing but good, Jesus would soon be enduring the worst of the world's hatred against him. And Jesus knew that his disciples would also be hated and persecuted by the world, all because they are his disciples. Therefore, he told them that they must expect nothing but the same hostile attitude from the world. John 15 verse 18, If the world hates you, Keep in mind that it hated me first. It is important you should not be discouraged, but rather not make the mistake of falling into the danger of sin. Sin is of the devil, because the devil sinned from the very beginning. The moment you fall into sin, you become prey to the enemy, who has been lurking around, seeking to destroy you. The Bible tells us not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11. For the enemy not to be able to put you to shame, you must trust in God, that him alone can strengthen and empower you in whatever area that you feel weak or down. Trusting in the Lord that him alone can give you the grace to stand up to the evil of the world is important because by sheer human strength, you will not be able to withstand the battle. This is why you need to stay focused and alert, like a soldier on the war front. You mustn't in any way let the mockers and haters intimidate you. There must be courage in you, because you know you do the right thing, and that you're on the right side with God. So you should be more courageous, and not allow the enemies and the world to make you afraid. As they should be ashamed of the life they live, and if you are truly a witness of Christ to them, you can lead them to salvation, so that they might receive a new life in God. Unfortunately, today's Christians conform to the things of the world so that they are not deemed too pious or holy. Some are ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Others don't want to be identified with that tag and that they belong to God. Just as I mentioned earlier, you cannot hide the gospel of Christ. If you are a true born-again child of God, then you can never hide the light of God in your life. It is either you serve God or mammon. You just have to choose. There is no hiding or staying in the middle. Luke 9 verse 26 says, Whoever is ashamed of me and my words, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and the holy angels. Some will try to avoid the world's hatred by not revealing to anyone that there are Christians. There is a story about a young man who was to work with a set of people 
who were known to be abusive and vile to Christians. So the church kept praying for him, that he would be able to withstand the abuse and words thrown at him. When the young man came back, they asked how he fared with these people. The young man blurted out that he had a nice time with them, and they did not even suspect he was a Christian. Many of us are like this young man, trying to please God and the world at the same time, which is not possible. Can a true believer in Christ remain a secret believer? If you say that you truly believe in Jesus Christ, we are not to be ashamed to be called Christians, because by this, the world will associate us with Christ, and we will our God-given role of being His witnesses. In Matthew 5, verse 14 and 15, Jesus said, Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. A secret believer is like a lighted candle that is placed under a container. What use does it have? No one can see its light and benefit from it. It might as well be extinguished. So please don't be afraid of being hated by the world for being a Christian. Settle it in your heart that you serve a living God. James 1 verse 2 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. As Christians are mocked, persecuted, insulted, neglected, and even face a lot of trials for your faith. But don't let it dampen your faith, because God has better things in place for you, and you have a reward both from here on earth and in heaven. The grace of God is ever sufficient in your life. So make it a duty not to be moved or shaken, but rather hold on steadfast in the place of prayer and doing the will of God. Don't be tempted to compromise, no matter what your co-workers, friends, family and peers force you to do. Let them know that you stand firmly on Christ and that you can never conform to whatever evil they want you to partake in. In conclusion, it is easy for the devil to want to put you down due to your situation, present circumstances and your past. Don't let all these things affect your future with God. You have no control over your past, and you can change it, whether you like it or not. So why don't you press forward in the place of prayer to seek the will of God? When you are faithful to God, then no one, not even the devil, can put you down.